Hi, in this tutorial, we will see how to install PyCharm IDE and start develop Python application. First, we will download the PyCharm IDE application from the PyCharm website. Then we will install and finally we will write our first hello world type of Python application. And then we will see how we can run our Python application. First, open any browser like Safari or Google Chrome or Firefox and then go to Google. Once you are in Google, type PyCharm over here and start searching PyCharm and the first link jetbrains.com they have the PyCharm software. So I just clicked over there and you will be in this page. So don't click on download button from here. Just go to the blue download option on the top right side. So I am ignoring this black one and I'm, I will only click on this blue color download button. And here we are seeing two options. One is professional option and there is community. And in the top we are seeing under the download PyCharm there is three version. Windows, Mac, Linux. We are using Mac version that's why we are using Mac tab. And the community edition is free and open source. But the for other one it's free trial. We have to pay for that after few days. So for this tutorial, we will use Community Edition, which is free. We will click the download button to download the software and it will show, do you want to allow downloads on jetbrains.com? We need to download, so I'm clicking allow button and it will start downloading and it will show a thank you message, like thank you for downloading PyCharm. The download varies based on the internet speed. So once we finish download, we have to go to the download location. For my case, my download is in download folder. So I'm going to the downloads folder and over here, the first one is the pycharm.dmg file. That is the installer. We just need to double click on top of this and it will start opening the DMG file. We have to wait few seconds. Once it's finished opening, we'll see one window, something like that, uh, where two icons is there. On is pycharm CE and other is application. And there is a message that we need to drag to the application. So I am dragging PyCharm to that one and it will open this application folder and it will start copying all the instruction things inside the application folder and we can close all the windows because PyCharm is already installed in that application folder. I'm also closing this window. Let's start the PyCharm. PyCharm can be opened different ways. If we hold command and space bar, then we can type here in the spotlight search PyCharm and it will show there. From here, we can double click. Another way to open PyCharm is to open the Finder and from Finder, go to Applications. Under Application, there is an icon PyCharm CE. So from here, we can double click and also open the application. And the third option to open the PyCharm is to press F4 key and it will pop up all the applications. From here, go to the PyCharm option. So in the second page, for my case, this is the PyCharm C. We can open from here also. So now let's use uh, the spotlight search. Let's see how PyCharm looks. I'm going there and I type PyCharm C and it will pop up this message. PyCharm C is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes, I am sure because we are trying to develop on a small application. Okay, then I click open and it will give me this option. Do I want to copy the import settings or no? I don't want because this is a new installation and I'm clicking on OK. And it will give me this type of license agreement. So here I have to confirm and then I have to click on continue button. And from here it is asking data sharing things. I don't want to send this data sharing things. So I clicked on don't send. Once I click there, it will ask me which type of schema I need to configure. Here we can choose the theme also one by one. So at first choose the schema. I choose the left schema. That is fine. If you want to choose, you can also choose the right schema. And there are some hints, uh, the examples, the key stock, how you can continue. Anyway, uh, I am choosing the first one and then I am going to the next UI themes section. So once I click here, it will show me two different things. For this case, I am I like the dark 
color but you can use the light color also and once i select the theme then i'm going to the next screen by clicking next and then here i can also check mark this thing create a script for opening files and process from the command line okay i just check here and after checking i'm going to the next step again and here it is asking which plugins i want to install i don't want to install any plugins if we need we can do that later and then i'm clicking on start using pycharm this button and it is asking me the password of this computer so i will type the password of this computer once i type the password i will hit ok button to start pycharm this is the main window to create a pycharm application or project or to open an existing application or project if you want to change some of the settings of PyCharm ID, you can click on configure and then from configure drop down, it will appear over there. So let's see preferences. Click on appearance and from the theme right side, we can change any theme. So I'm not going to change any theme. I'm just clicking cancel button. Click on create new project to create a Python application. And now type the application name. For example, I'm typing my few steps as a project name or application name and then we have to hit the create button before going to that i am expanding project interpreter new virtualization environment so here we see the location where the project will be there and then there is base interpreters so here we are using python 3.8 or 2.7 something is there many versions what is the meaning of this let's open the terminal first and type the command python only p o i t h o n and hit return key once we hit return key we will see that the default python is 2.7.17 this is the default python but we already installed python 3 if you want to see the tutorial for python 3 installation you can check the link description below now write the command python 3 now you will see that the python 3 dot 8 dot on version is there so basically we will use this latest version of python i'm coming back to new project window now for our new project we will use python 3.8 version and then once we choose the version then we will click on create button to create our desired project using pycharm ide wait few more seconds uh, to complete the project setup you can also close the welcome to pycharm this window i am clicking close button to close that i am also going to close the terminal window also because we don't need any more now we will create the python file for our application or python thing so i am expanding everything now right click on the project name and then choose new under new you will see python file we have to choose this one so i clicked over there and then it will ask me the python file name for example the file name is my first app and we have to put the extension so i'm putting dot py remember dot py all the fi python file and then i have to choose python file and hit return key it will create a file of that name go to that file and type something for example i am typing print and parenthesis inside the parenthesis i am typing some text like hello python programming and then time to run our first application to run application just right click of this window and you will it will pop up a window so from here we will see run my first app this is the application name or python file which we just created so i clicked over here and once i clicked over here i will see that in the run window that line is printed like hello python programming if we want to change something just I am putting some dot 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 and if I again run the application, I mean run the file, I will see in the run window the text is updated. In this way, we can easily do our hello programming using PyCharm IDE. There is another way you can run your application or Python file. For this case, we need to run from the menus. Suppose for example, I am changing the text and now I have to go run and from here we see run then the file name. The python file name which we created if we click over there we'll see in the run window it is updating and there is another one option there is another run this will run the it will ask me which uh, python file i want to run so from here i can choose the file name and then we can run in this way we can run some individual python file easily hopefully by following the tutorial 
you will easily will able to install PyCharm and start building your Python application. <laughs>